Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Today we're gonna to look at the Ultra Gaff deck. Uh, Ultra Gaff was put out by Illusionist and it was marketed uh, when it first came out as a deck by itself. I think later they added um, this bundle pack of three digital downloads or three DVDs that came along with it. Um, I got it when it was just the deck as a single um, item and now I believe it is sold out. Um, it's been sold out for a while um, and I really don't think they'll ever reprint it. Um, the DVDs, uh, there were three of them. They had 19 tricks. Uh, they filmed it in Houston, Texas. It was put out by Wayne Houchin and Daniel Garcia. And if you ever get a chance to, to watch the DVDs, they're actually kind of fun. Um, it's basically Wayne Houchin and Daniel Garcia making each other laugh and Daniel Garcia staring at the camera uh, at, at weird opportune moments. Um, Daniel Garcia and Wayne Houchin, they had three weeks to design these cards. They had two weeks to develop the effects. So right off, when you're watching the DVDs and, and you're kind of noticing uh, the effects they came up with for this deck, uh, it does feel a little rushed. It did feel a little unpolished. Um, the tuck box itself um, just has the, their initials at the top there, DG and uh, WH, and of course it says Ultra Gaff, and on the back it has the bicycle logo. Other than that, it's a, a black box that has the Illusionist logo on the bottom. Um, I'll run through a couple of the cards um, while I'm talking. Uh, w once you've seen all the, the Gaff tutorials, uh, they suddenly all start to feel the same. Um, they're very Jay Sankey-esque. It, it's a lot of the same moves, not so much um, magical moments, like um, they'll use the Erdnays change a lot, um, they'll use a top switch uh, to change out one card for another, um, there's a lot of rifle forces, um, stuff like that. So a, a lot of uh, simple, um, basic moves, uh, and, and just, it didn't seem like there was a whole lot uh, of, of creativity. Um, the camera even uh, blurs out a couple times on some of the transitions that they do. Um, personally, I don't think the public should know that um, gaff cards even exist. Okay, the best gaff should be the the double backer or the double facer. It should be along those lines. I think gaff should be um, invisible. A card that is it. Uh, they are tools for you as a means to take you to an end, but. I don't believe gaffs in and of themselves are tricks. Um, that said, um, I still like collecting gaff cards. I think they're um, very creative. I think they're very fun to look at. And I'd, I'd say, I guess, out of these cards, um, I'd probably use maybe 10% of them or less of these cards in, in actual practice. Um, but like some of the bigger uh, boulder gaffs that are in this deck, uh, like this one that says carrot on the back, or this has an ink splot on it. Uh, this is very obviously printed eight of clubs. You know, uh, this one that says sexy. I probably wouldn't use those. Um, they just kind of scream to, to out that, you know, I was bought in a magic store. Um, but, but cards like this, where it's a four on one card and just a simple card on the, on the other side, that's a, that's a usable gaff. This is meant to be invisible in play. And, you know, at the end of the day, you, your spectator will never see this card. That's a usable gaff. Um, scratch off uh, lottery tickets. I don't know. It, it just seems a little, a little obvious that you're, you're using something that was purchased at a store. And I don't think it's as magical when your spectator sees those. Um, even things like this, you know, it, it's beautiful to look at. And as a collector, I can appreciate it. But I would never want a spectator to actually hold this in their hands because to me it doesn't look real and I think there is part of an uh, there is an element of magic that that should look real you know I think anytime you're uh, actually uh, leaving the gaff in the person's hands that's bad you know Th that gives them the opportunity to look at it and inspect it your, your magic should end with the gaff invisibly gone and vanished you know um, so that's the ultra gaff deck uh, like I said, it's not on for sale at illusionist.com anymore. You're probably going to have to go and find it on the internet. But that is it. Thanks.